In this video I'm going to show you my 10 tips, tricks and hidden feature for MacBook Pro. So starting from today you will make most of your Mac. Hi, I'm David and thank you so much for joining Levis Review. Lately I've uploaded a video about recommending settings for Mac. This video is great for people just starting with Mac and I will put a link up here. But if you are already familiar with the basic configuration and you want more from your Mac, this is the perfect video for you. So without further ado, let's start! Some of you already know that in the new version of macOS you can download apps and games that's dedicated for iPhone and iPad. But did you know that now you can play games on your Mac with any controller that's connected by Bluetooth? To connect to controller, open system preferences, go to Bluetooth and connect to controller. And now when you play game on your Mac, the game immediately recognizes the controller and show you how to operate the controller. Guys, to play games on Mac like a gaming console, this is really cool! If you made change to your document and by mistake you save it, don't worry, you can easily restore the document file. Open the document file and on the menu bar click on File and then Revert to and then Browse all versions. And now choose the wanted version of the file. And finally click on Restore and now your file is restored. By default MacBook showing us icon of battery on the menu bar. And to check the percentage of the battery you need to press each time on the battery icon. To show the percentage regularly open system preferences and select dock and menu bar. Scroll down until you see battery and now check show percentage. And from now on, the battery percentage will be displayed. If you want to view a file without opening it, you can choose the file and press on the spacebar to enter the preview mode. Second press on the spacebar will close the preview mode. You can use it for movies, songs, documents and so on. Over time we are accumulating a lot of files and folders and the desktop become messy. To keep the desktop organized, press right click on the desktop and check the use stacks. That stack all the files of the same type. And when you press the stack, all the stack files will be appear. And the second press will stack all the files again. Before we continue to the next tip, I want to mention that our channel is growing and we have a lot of great content for you. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't miss anything. Also, it's El Pasarat, so click the subscribe button and let's continue. Open System Preferences and choose Mission Control. Then select Odd Corners. Now we can configure what will happen when we choose each of one of the corners. For example, I choose the upper right corner to open notification center. The right corner from below open the launch pad. The left corner above presenting a clear desktop. And the left corner from below open the screen saver. Let's see how it works. If you want to move fast between open apps, press on Command Tab. To close the app, press Command Q. If the app is stuck and you cannot close it normally, press on Command Option Escape. It will open a list of all the apps that are activated in the background. Choose the app that is stuck and press on Force Quit. To hide the apps that you are working with, press on Command H. To hide all the apps that's in the background, press on Command Option H. To configure Dark Mode, go to System Preferences and choose General. Now we can choose if we want Light Mode or Dark Mode or Auto. When we choose Auto Mode, Light and Dark will change according to the hours of the day. When you choose dark or light modes, it will apply to every window and menus. If more than one person using your Mac, 
and you want to switch to your profile as fast as possible, just put your finger on the button of the fingerprint scanner for one second and then press the button. And immediately Mac will switch to your profile. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it and you find it helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you know somebody this video can help them, please share this video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments down below. I wish you a beautiful day, a lot of help, and I will see you soon.